Let us first acknowledge that the land now known as Solano County is the traditional land of the Patwin people, who now live on as the Yochadihi Winton Nation. Acknowledgement is just the first step. Please take the time to learn more about Indigenous history. You want to know what's hip these days with the youngsters? Trying to fit in and be woke about the environment? Then you gotta know about TOD. Where are we dropping? At the TOD. Come on now, spill the tea. What's TOD? TOD, or Transit Oriented Development, is both a relatively new yet pretty old concept in planning. That's right, we stand good communities. In order to maximize ridership, Transit-oriented development promotes high-density, mixed-use walkable neighborhoods within proximity to transit hubs. These areas promote transportation choice, or the idea that residents should be able to feasibly choose to live with a car, rely solely on transit, or a mix of both. People who live in transit-oriented developments live within walking distance to everything. Schools, work, shops, offices. If they need to go somewhere else, they've got transit right there to take them to their destination. In fact, in these neighborhoods, it's possible to live without a car. Radical, right? What a crazy idea. But in fact, before the widespread adoption of the car, cities all over the world used this sort of development pattern. When people could only walk to their destination, everything needed to be within close proximity. With the streetcar taking over America in the 1920s, many cities followed the same principles that are at the heart of transit-oriented development. Now, with ever-increasing congestion on the freeways as a result of decades of car-centered planning, cities all across the country are turning back to TOD as a solution. Cities as big as Oakland and suburbs like Walnut Creek and Roseville are creating new transit-oriented developments within proximity to their transit hubs. Solano County has joined the bandwagon too. Let's take a look at future transit-oriented development planned in Solano County. Vallejo is home to the second busiest line in the entire San Francisco Bay Ferry system, with ridership exceeding that of most other ferry lines in the region. To capitalize on the success, along with an overall effort to revitalize the waterfront, the city of Vallejo has partnered with Callahan Property Company to create new transit-oriented development at the ferry station. This project, also known as Vallejo Station, but also known as the Vallejo Waterfront Plan Development Master Plan, will completely change Vallejo's central waterfront. The city of Vallejo has an agreement with WIDA, who operates the ferry system, to provide a certain number of parking spaces for ferry passengers. These parking spaces currently exist as surface parking lots, taking up vast amounts of space. To continue fulfilling their obligation to WIDA, the city aims to consolidate these parking spaces into two parking garages. Phase A of the parking garage has already been completed, with Phase B currently in the works. Following the construction of both parking garages, Callahan Property Company will then be able to redevelop the former parking lots with new mixed-use development, with shops and services on the ground floor and apartments on the upper levels. Adding more of the transit and transit-oriented development, Vallejo Station also includes a regional bus hub that serves Soul Trans, Vine, and Solano Express, connecting residents of the area to Napa, Sacramento, the rest of Solano, and BART. Up in Fairfield, the Fairfield Vacaville Hannigan Station will also see new transit oriented development. Here, over 6,000 new housing units are planned for the area, with the highest densities being located within a five minute walk of the train station. In 2011, the city of Fairfield adopted the train station specific plan, which guides development in the area. Just south of the station, the specific plan calls for new, medium, and high-density housing where residents can walk to the train station. To the north, a mixed-use district with retail, housing, and a potential new school will make the area surrounding the station a destination rather than a place to go through. 
to the west of Hannigan Station, the proposed Hawthorne Mill project proposes new retail, apartment, and other mixed-use development, a five-minute walk from the station. Residents living in these future developments will be able to bypass traffic and take Capitol Corridor down to downtown Sassoon, the rest of the Bay Area, and up to Greater Sacramento. Future bus connections at Hannigan Station will also connect residents to other parts of Fairfield, Sassoon, Vacaville, and potentially even Travis Air Force Base. Over at the Vacaville Transportation Center off of Allison Drive, a variety of housing types are planned to take advantage of the transit services in the area. To the west of the VTC is a new luxury apartment complex, providing housing for middle and higher income folks choosing to reside in Vacaville. To the east, a new senior living apartment complex will have easy access to transit. To the north, a new mixed income apartment complex will provide affordable living options for Vacaville residents. Current and future residents living in the area will have easy access to all sorts of commercial uses, with grocery stores like Safeway and Target being within a half mile of the new developments. Other amenities, like restaurants and the Vacaville Cultural Center, are also located within a half mile, along with a major employer, Travis Credit Union. For services that are out of reach for residents in the area, one can easily take City Coach, Yolo Bus, or Solano Express for access to other parts of Vacaville, the Bay Area, or Sacramento. While these are just some of the transit-oriented developments that are currently in the works, there are still many others that are planned throughout Solano County. In Vallejo, the Sonoma Boulevard specific plant adopted in the early 2010s envisions a series of dense urban villages located along Highway 29. A new Bus Rapid Transit Line, or BRT, is envisioned to run through and service the area. Hold up! BRT? Spill the tea! Bus Rapid Transit popularized by its successful implementation in Curitiba, provides rapid bus service separate from normal auto traffic. An easy way to think of BRT is like a train, but instead, it's a bus. Bus rapid transit is used all over the world in cities like Jakarta, and is being adopted in many other cities like Addis Ababa and even Oakland. Over in downtown Sassoon and Fairfield, Plans call for new, high-density housing and mixed-use development to surround the Sassoon-Fairfield Capital Corridor Station. At the Fairfield Transportation Center, city staff are preparing plans for new, high-density housing to surround the center should the city see changes in the built environment in that area. In Vacaville, staff are currently working on the Vacaville Downtown Specific Plan, which aims to revitalize and activate the city's downtown. It's possible that new mixed-use transit-oriented development will be planned to surround the city's transit plaza. As an idea, some criticize transit-oriented development for its tendency to invoke gentrification and displacement into vulnerable communities, especially since many of these communities are located along transit lines. In their book, Transit-Oriented Displacement or Community Dividends, Karen Chapel and Anastasia Lukaidu Sideris warn against some of the possible negative effects of TOD. They state, because such projects contribute to increases in land and property values, they may be more susceptible to gentrification and displacement, and thus detrimental to the households that depend on transit the most. While the ongoing projects in Fairfield and Vacaville are taking place on mostly undeveloped land surrounded by non-residential uses, future projects like those planned in Vallejo and other Solano downtowns must be sure to benefit existing residents rather than victimize them. In a region experiencing high housing costs, it is important that transit-oriented developments create mixed-income environments that support working-class residents. Other concerns talk about the feasibility of making TOD residents actually use the transit. Daniel Chapman, in his article, Does Transit-Oriented Development Need the Transit?, suggests that the presence of transit does not necessarily mean that people will stop using their car. He claims, lower parking availability, better bus service, smaller housing units, more rental housing, more destinations within walking distance, better proximity to downtown, and higher population and employment density all reduce car ownership and use. Looking at TODs in Solano, every single one revolves around parking. 
If transit-oriented development is to succeed, the development needs to revolve around transit. And the transit needs to revolve around community. An alternative term used by planning professor Dr. Ricardo Huerta Nino aims to put the emphasis on the community, community-oriented transportation. With increasing congestion plaguing cities nationwide, a return to old urban patterns may provide an answer. Transit-oriented development, community-oriented transportation, is coming to Solano County, and it may provide some much-needed relief to our current struggles with traffic. If you like this video, please be sure to hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe to Solano Futuro if you want to hear more about development in Solano County and hit the bell to be instantly notified whenever we upload a new video. And of course, be sure to visit Solano Futuro to learn more about all new projects in Solano County. We'll be sure to keep you updated on all new developments and El Futuro. Until next time. <laughs>